Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to travel back in time in Google Maps. This has been here for a while, and it's easy to overlook. We're going to show you how to use it. So you just want to open up Google Maps and pick a location. I'll head off to Savannah, Georgia for fun. Let's go here. And I'm doing this on a desktop, of course. It should be somewhat similar on most mobile devices. Let's see what we got here. Let's cruise on down over here by Hutchinson Island, maybe Forsyth Park. Let's go look at the park. So on the desktop, if you grab the little guy right here, anything you can put him at turns green. So we'll drop him right here, say. There we go. And there you have it. You're at your street view. People jogging, walking. Look at a nice little spot. All right. So now that you're here, the big thing is to look for the clock icon. That is everything. If you do not see it, there is no older time to go back. Now, if you see it, you click on it, and again, it'll vary from time to time. As you can see, we can go back to January 2019, March of 2016, and all the way back to November of 2007. So now we just click on this, and there you have it. You can kind of see the trees change a little bit. See? And you get a look around at how things have changed. Oh, looks like we got ourselves an event. Cool. And there you have it. Pretty neat. Pretty simple to do. And of course, just as easy to get out by just closing it out or leaving yourself at the last known date. Just like that. And then just close it with the X. So again, just keep in mind as you do this. It has everything to do with this little icon right here. Not there, no options. If it's there, it varies by location. So we'll try something else if you want. Um, let me restart just for kicks. Short video anyway. Let's go back to the base of Google Maps. And let's go to, I don't know, San Francisco. Oops, let's try and spell it even close to correctly. There we go. Just for fun. I'm just hoping I can see something a little bit different. Ooh, can we go to Alcatraz? Oh, let's see. No. Bummer. I've been there. It's pretty cool. I've been there a couple times. Come on, go back. You're killing me. Oh, what's this? Oh. <laughs> ah, the stuff you find in Google Maps, huh? Let's go. Yeah, I'll start all over. <sighs> All right, just for fun, just for fun, just for fun. San Francisco, let's see if we can find something. Oh, the Palace of Fine Arts, I remember that. Let's see if we can get over here by the park. Grab a little dude, bring him in, set him down. There we go. I've been there, it's pretty cool. So once again, as you can see, we still have the icon here. And we can only go back to 2009 in this case. So let's go here. Same thing, just click around, and when you're done, if you want to leave it at the last known location again, drag it all the way to there. Pretty neat, seeing how things change. There you have it. And that is how you travel back in time in Google Maps. The link, as always, will be in the video description. However, I don't think you'll need it for this. It's pretty easy to do. I don't think you'll need to read this tutorial, but there you go. So as always, in the bottom right corner, you can click subscribe, click like. You know the drill. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.